Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi, this is Katie, and if you're new here, welcome! I'm so glad you're here, and hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back! I'm so glad that you're here as well. Today we are going to be doing a part two to the video that I did recently that was about alternatives to the Elizabeth Ward storage system for diamond painting. Um, now in that video, I mentioned a couple of sets. I'll link it up in the eye, by the way, if you'd like to go check it out. And I specifically was looking for sets that would be something my international subscribers as well as my US subscribers could get their hands on. So um, the reason that I'm doing these videos is because for a few months now, there have been rumors kind of swirling that Elizabeth Ward or the company that makes the Elizabeth Ward containers, which is what these are, is being bought out or going out of business and that it's a big question mark if whoever bought them out is going to continue making these containers. <laughs> now, uh, if you're anything like me, the Elizabeth Ward containers are like your very favorite ever. <laughs> they're kind of my fallback, like they're my good old reliable uh, way to store my diamond painting drills when I kid up. So um, the thing that I like most about Elizabeth Ward containers is that they're really space friendly, like they're pretty flat. And I love that they come with a variety of different size containers, it comes with four different sizes of containers total, at least in the particular set that I am specifically talking about, which is the 45 piece, 45 or 42 piece um, variety set which comes with, again, the four different size containers. So um, I wanted to try to find some alternatives that I find helpful to use that you guys might also be able to look into as well. Now, <laughs> in my last video, I can't tell you how many comments there were saying like, I love Harbor Freight. How come you didn't mention Harbor Freight? How come you didn't mention Harbor Freight? So, um, <laughs> The reason I didn't mention, Har mention Harbor Freight containers in that video was because, like I said, I really wanted it to be accessible for my international subscribers. And if you weren't aware, Harbor Freight is based in the United States, and while they have a website, they do not offer international shipping. So if you have a friend in the United States that can like ship them to you if you live outside the United States, that's great. But otherwise, like I said, and at least that first video, I really wanted to just be showing you guys the two, some storage solutions that I knew would be available for international subscribe, non-United States subscribers. So speaking of Harbor Freight, I am gonna talk about them in this video. <laughs> what is the best thing about Harbor Freight? Um, if you didn't already know, the price point. This set, which is a large case with, ooh, there we go, come on. <laughs> oh, it was already unlocked, user error. Um, is a large case with 24 smaller cases inside. This is, depending on if it's on sale, between four and six dollars total. You cannot beat the price point for Harbor Freights. It's really a shame that they don't offer international shipping. So for the price point, you, yes, this is a really, really fantastic option. Um, the containers are all the same size. They're the size that's probably roughly equivalent to, let's say probably like this size Elizabeth Ward container. This is uh, the second largest size. So a little bit smaller than that maybe. Yeah, a little bit smaller, but roughly comparable. It'll hold a decent number of drills. Um, one of the things that I am not crazy about with the Harbor Freight, which you can kind of see, is that because the boxes generally are stored sort of sideways like this, when you take them out to actually use them, you will inevitably see that there are drills that have settled in the lid. Now, this is fixed with just a tap, you know, before you open up. And, you know, even just one tap, you kind of get in the habit of like, you take it out, tap it a couple of times, everything settles in there. And then you can open it without, oh, well, there, look, a drill just fell out anyway. <laughs> you kind of get used to that. Um, but this is, it's nice that it's a nice wide, you know, kind of container so that you can pick and place if that's your kind of thing. It's super, super useful for that kind of thing. Um, and they're relatively secure. And the way that they're designed, there's not usually any gapping like you sometimes see in the other storage containers that I've shown 
in the last video. So um, one of the other downsides to these, unfortunately, is that they only come in the one size. Um, and for a lot of the kits that I work on, I some of the colors will have enough that I would need more than one of these containers in order to hold all of them. Now, that's not that big of a deal because you can just overflow into multiple containers or do what I did with this kit, which is I just left some of them in the, this giant Ziploc bag that they came in and then refilled as needed. So that is absolutely something you can do. Again, for the price point, I'm sure you can find some solutions that'll work for you. Um, this is nice for traveling. It's nice that the lid closes really securely and you're, you know, they're not going to move around too much. Um, I have seen, I will double check. I'm pretty sure it was Nana of Seven Crafts just recently shared a video where she found a larger Harbor Freight storage container that would hold like the single container would hold like two sets of these. I haven't had the chance to try that out yet, but I I think that's a super useful tip and I'm glad that she shared it. So I will absolutely link that video down in the description below if you wanna try out some new ways to store and organize your Harbor Freight containers. So um, overall, I've used these for a couple of different kits. While I tend to prefer the Elizabeth Ward containers, for the moment, these are really useful for some smaller kits that I know I'm not going to need these largest size Elizabeth Ward containers. Um, these are great for special drill kits because of the ability to pop it open and pick in place, as they say. Um, one thing I guess to be aware of is if you're using these exclusively um, and I wonder if this plastic is going to wear down over time, like the plastic that holds this in. Um, it seems to be a higher quality and like thicker plastic than the, um, what was that set that I used? I can't remember the name, that's okay. Uh, the Beadsmith, that's what it was. The Beadsmith storage I showed in the first video that I did for Elizabeth Ward Alternatives. I do worry that this could be a little bit on the flimsy side, but Again, it doesn't seem to be as flimsy as those. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Harbor Freights. Definitely highly re recommend checking them out if you live in the United States because four to six dollars for this entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> now, the other set that I tested out, because yes, I did intentionally test out each of these storage sets for a full kit's duration uh, so I could sort of have a more complete experience to share with you all. Um, this is from AliExpress, uh, specifically the shop AZQSD. <laughs> uh, it was the one that had the lowest price point at the time that I looked because there are a couple of different shops on AliExpress that sell this set. Huacan has it. There are one or two others that I'm not remembering the names of. And frankly, I just went with the one that was the lowest price point and the highest reviews. So this was at the time of purchase $18.58 in US dollars plus tax and it had free shipping. So this was the lowest price point. Now, I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, the Elizabeth Ward containers vary wildly in price um, on Amazon if you're looking for them on Amazon, which is the only place I'm aware of that you can get them now. Um, I've seen them go as low as like 18 or $19, like one time, <laughs> okay, more like $21 is like a really good price. And I've seen it go as high as 45. So <laughs> that's a huge price variation. And ever since like a few months ago, when I noticed that it was out of stock for long periods of time on Amazon, um, I have not seen the Elizabeth Ward set come up for under 25 or 30 dollars in quite some time i might have missed it but you know so this set was 18 1858 um since it's from aliexpress it ships worldwide and you might be looking at this and going that looks like an elizabeth ward set it is almost an und indistinguishable dupe for the elizabeth ward brand set the only visible noticeable difference that i found is the handles so this is the handles on these and on the elizabeth ward they're just a slightly different style honestly like they function exactly the same <laughs> i can't complain um the other 
really minor difference that I noticed was that on some of these, the bottom just felt a little bit different, like right here, the spot right here. Such a minor difference. Um, the containers themselves, the lids all functioned the same. In some cases, I felt like they actually opened more easily than the Elizabeth Ward ones do, particularly like when you have a brand new Elizabeth Ward set that they're really stiff before you break them in. These kind of felt like they were already broken in. They seem really secure. None of the lids seem to be loose or anything like that. Um, and by the way, a tip for you all, if you have on nails that you don't want to mess up, you can use the flat end of your tweezers from Diamond Painting and pop it under there and it'll just, it'll pop right open. So a little tip for you guys that works on both these as well as the Elizabeth Ward containers themselves. So I liked this one came in a variety of sizes. It's the exact same set as the Elizabeth Ward. It has, you know, three of the largest containers, eight of the second largest and so on and so forth. It is exactly the same and so i'm sure i could interchange it would that it would be interchangeable with the elizabeth ward set as well so again when i was working on this kit i didn't know that i wasn't working with an elizabeth ward set so it's a really really good option now here is the downside to this one and that is that aliexpress is just such a gamble to order from and not that it's, it's not like you're going to get scammed out of your money or anything like that. It's that when you're shipping overseas, um, when you're shipping from China, when you're shipping like from AliExpress, you really never know how long it's gonna take to get to you. I think this one took about a month from the time that I ordered, um, which I knew that, like I knew going in that AliExpress shipping is just, you don't know, especially with the world and the state that it's in, with the pandemic <laughs> and all of that. I get it, it's not a big deal, but it's something to be aware of. Like, as opposed to, if I get the Elizabeth Ward set on Amazon Prime, it's there in two days. <laughs> uh, the other nice thing though, is in spite of the fact that you don't know how long it's going to take to ship to you and arrive, it is available, you know, worldwide, anywhere that you can order from AliExpress. So that's definitely a set that's worth looking into, especially if you're okay with waiting an amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> my tracking was never up to date and accurate to be honest with you and I know that like if it hadn't showed up I could have you know let AliExpress know let the seller know it's you know it just is a little bit more mental effort and work uh to get this set over the Elizabeth Ward but I can't complain <laughs> really so here's the thing here's the, the regular Elizabeth Ward set Here's the AliExpress set, here's Harbor Freights. Um, these are really solid alternatives that you can use. If the Elizabeth Ward price point is too high or if it goes out of stock and we cannot find them anymore and they end up on the black market for 50 bucks a pop or more. You know, <laughs> these are solid alternatives that I was really looking forward to sharing with you guys. Now I will link both of these in the description below again. Harbor Freights are only available in the United States and to United States residents, unfortunately, but these AliExpress ones should be available worldwide and anywhere you can order from AliExpress. So definitely go and check those out if you wanna try these out and feel free to let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite diamond storage and organization solution? Have you tried the Harbor Freights or the AliExpress set? Uh, which by the way, my sweet friend Lindsay over at Life with Lindsay did a more in-depth comparison of the AliExpress set and the Elizabeth Ward set. I'll link to her video, go and check that out as well. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful for all of you to give you some other diamond painting storage options. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or thoughts down in the comments below. I'll get back to them as quickly as I can. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up before you click away. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified whenever I share new videos, which is usually a few times a week. All right, guys, I hope you have a really great week. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.